So I parked this car at my friend's house, locked the door. Don't know where the key is. So let's see if we can find it. Look who it is. We got an all stock S13 hatch here. I just pulled the fender off so we can get the door open and uh, check it over a little bit. So I've had this car for honestly probably like a year and a half now. And uh, it's just been sitting around at one of my storage locations. I had it at a friend's house. And uh, I just picked it up. I do believe this is going to be the next car that I put together. This is going to get an OEM refresh. As you can see, it's got like graffiti all over it and stuff. This thing was abandoned in some field in Alabama uh, for I don't know how long. This car is kind of a cool story, though. One of my friends used to own it, Roger. He owned it like seven years ago. He bought it from a used car dealership, and the transmission went out. So he went back and traded it back in, and then after that, it just like went through a couple different owners. Nobody ever did anything with it. It's got blue interior. Look how clean it is. It's so sick. It's so nice. I have uh uncracked blue dash for it and the carpet mint this car's super sweet so i've been waiting to do it, something with this one for a while and i think it's finally time to work on this one it's the one i picked out so pop the hood all stock i stole some parts off of this car as you can see the math is gone as you can see the throttle uh Throttle body spacer adapter is in is gone. I took the rotor off of it, I guess. Uh, but other than that, everything else is there. On this car too, I, I do believe I'm gonna keep all the uh, EGR stuff too. So that'll be like a cool little thing to keep. There's, uh, you see the paint's chipping off in random little spots in the bay. There's no rust on this car though. Well, actually, before I say that, look, we got a little bit up here in the A-pillar. So that'll be a good video, a little bit right here. It'll be a good video. I can repair all that rush, show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, this could be a good car. This is gonna be a really good car. It's gonna be nicer, even nicer than the white one that I just finished. So like I said, I'm gonna strip this thing all the way down. I'll probably like re-undercoat the wheel wells. I'll probably do the bottom of the car. The inside of it is dumb clean. Like underneath all the carpet and stuff, I took all that out a couple months back when I bought the car or last year when I bought the car. I might have some clips of that. If I do, I'll throw it in right here. So one thing I've learned about these cars is you'll never know how clean one is until you pull the interior out. So we're gonna start ripping the interior out of this thing and see what we can find underneath the carpet. Hopefully we won't find any rust. All right, so got the front seats out. Uh, found a little hole here for my mice. What I'm gonna do next, so I don't make a huge mess, is I'm gonna vacuum all this mess up, throw these big lumps in the trash can, um, unbolt the e-brake because it has to go underneath the carpet here, unbolt this, this is the seatbelt control module, unbolt this because it makes it easier. All right, so got it vacuumed out looking a little cleaner what i think i'm just gonna do is i'm just gonna pull the dash off because i'm auto manual swapping it it'll make it a lot easier plus this dash is a little cracked and i might replace it There's two 12 millimeter bolts in the bottom of the steering column get those down sag the steering column to get this bezel out after you get these two screws here so got the defroster vents out uncracked got the dash out got the carpet out and it's looking pretty good so normally a little rust here at this spot, right back here at the seam. This is just like surface, just from mice, like feces and stuff. It's no rust or anything. We're gonna obviously get this all cleaned up. Um, the main spot they always rust that I find is right back here. So that's kind of where they built a nest. So we're gonna have to take that off next and see if we find anything back there. Um, this side, same thing. It looks like they built a nest right behind the plastics as well. But yeah, everywhere else is looking pretty good. Obviously a bunch of insulation and stuff left still from the carpet, but we'll clean all that up. So I'm gonna do that now and uh, see what we got. All right, so got pretty much the rest of the interior out. I still gotta get these plastics out, but I'll get those out later. Um, got everything vacuumed up out here. No, no rust in the trunk, no rust up here. Just a little bit of surface rust on that one there. It's not bad at all, but this thing will clean up really nice. I'm gonna pressure wash the whole inside, get the rest of the insulation up, put some new carpet in it, go back, complete interior. And then 
other than that like i'm not going to do a refresh on the inside because like i said i already did like i cleaned everything out it's spotless in there i swapped all the interior over had every piece out so yeah we'll also do a five-speed conversion on this thing gonna do a full engine refresh and other than that i mean the body's really clean on it we got this one thing like right here and then uh we gotta do this whole trunk so this thing used to have a rocket bunny wing on it <laughs> look at this shelf of bondo i i couldn't stand looking at the wing so that was the first thing i did to the car is i ripped the wing off so we got to get this all the way back down to bare metal and then we'll plug all the holes because there's no rust in the trunk this is obviously surface rust there's no rust in the trunk so i just got to get the bond off and then i can patch all the holes and this will be a nice uh slick hatch i guess i will say something about this interior though it is very nice right it's very nice oh this is a black interior factory car i converted the entire car to blue interior absolutely every single piece matching blue I just figured that the blue interior would look a hell of a lot cooler with the misty blue metallic car. So I thought it matched pretty good. All right, so I brought, got the car off the trailer, brought it in here in the back, go over it a little bit more, I guess. So I'm missing a couple more pieces than I, than I thought. Um, I know a lot of my parts are still packed away in storage, so I'm pretty sure quite a few of the things that I'm looking for right now are in there so you got the blue cover here i got the blue speaker covers um another blue center console it appears though that i'm missing the whole back blue carpet i think i have one though but i'm not sure so if you have one of those i'd, I'd be interested in it and this piece i'm almost certain i have this blue hatch carpet cover but again all my parts are in storage so but everything else, look at all this, it's in perfect condition. The blue. It's so nice. Look, all this is all blue. There's no rust in here. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. There's like a little bit of surface rust on it, but it's not bad at all. Other than that, like I said, this car's pretty, pretty nice. Look up in the wheel wells here super nice we've got a little bit of body damage over here in the rocker panel so we'll fix this see that somebody doesn't know how to jack up a car and then a little bit more right there too unfortunate but i can fix it this side's really clean though look at the frame rails pinch welds are absolutely perfect but the frame welds are super clean and i can clean the frame rail or the pinch welds up and straighten them out wheel well up here it's nice we're missing the splash guard on this side but i think i got some extras the other side has the splash guard um but yeah 